All right, you mentioned battles. Yeah. It's about to go down this weekend, man. How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling great. Feeling great, man. Just happy to be back. Happy to uh, go in there Saturday and put on the show. When the, the name came across with the contract and you saw who your opponent was, what was the feeling like? Were you excited? Were you like, okay, we're going to meet in the middle and we're going to handle business? Uh, yeah, I mean, when I seen who it was, man, I was just like, I didn't really care who it was for real. I was just like, man, let's get it. I'm ready now, you know. And uh, when I seen who it was, I was like, oh, yeah, man. You know, he just somebody that's in the way. But I seen, like, when I when I looked him up after I accepted the fight, I accepted the fight before I really even knew who he was. But after I looked at him, I'm like, okay, man, you know, we got a fight on our hands, you know. And, you know, I don't know if you saw when we talked to Harris, but he kind of felt uh, similar, was complimentary mm -hmm. to his style and how you guys mesh up well. So if you guys both have the same mentality, we're about to get a real barn burner on our absolutely, hands. Absolutely, man, absolutely. The, does it get you a little bit more up for the fight, or regardless you're going to bring it, give us 100% that your co-main event, does that make a difference at all? Man, regardless, I'm going to bring it, whether I was the first fight, the last fight, co-main, I'm going to bring it, just like I'm the main event, you know? I, I saw you had to, you know, kind of tuck it, I get it, I get it, but it's going to be a little Mamba mentality this week? Absolutely, man, absolutely. But, um. Without giving away too much of the game plan chaos, what are your advantages this weekend? What do you see when you guys study tape, you and the team, when it comes to Harris, like, okay, this and this and this, this is where I, I, I got the edge on this dude? Sure. It's, it's, I mean, pretty much everything, man, to me. You know, I feel like people sleep on my grappling a lot. They, they, they really they don't get to see it because people don't get that close to me like that. They don't really get a chance to really get me down, take me down, and hold me down. Because of uh, that's what I started with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and then uh, when it comes to the striking, I'm not really being outstruck. I'm not really getting outstruck and like that. And I mean, as far as the strength, man, I know how strong I am. So and my IQ, I've been doing this for a minute now. So I mean, you know, I got the IQ as well. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty calm, smart fighter. So I mean, everything that's there, I just feel like I'm the better fighter, and I'm about to go show that. Right. You're not. Uh, unfamiliar to the apex it's kind of like a homecoming how good does it feel to be back in vegas how has you know sin city treated you man it's feeling great man you know they done brought the apex predator back and i'm the co-main event so now i gotta show uh that they made a great decision and, and put on for everybody watching right on man and last but for uh for me what can we expect on saturday what are you gonna give the fans this weekend 15 minutes hard in the paint or maybe a finish man I'm ready to go 15 minutes, but just like I said before, all my fights, man, I don't see none of my fights going the distance. Like, when I go into a fight, I don't see none of them go the distance. Like, I just feel like whoever in front of me, man, like, this guy is not about to last. You know, all it takes is one shot, and if you make a mistake, and, and you know, whether I submit him or whether I test that chin out and, and take his soul from his body, like, he ain't not going to last. But I know you can't knock everybody out, and I don't go into the fight like, oh, I'm about to knock everybody out. But that's, that's just what I plan on doing. I don't want it to go to decision. Man, I can't wait. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. It's been about a year since we've seen you. I think almost to the day. Yeah. Um, what, what have you been up to? It's like, a, it's like a homecoming, man. I've been fighting back to back to back. Uh, pretty much, I've just been getting things in order, man, as far as my mental, as, as far as, you know, just a lot of stuff. Like, I always try to make sure everything is intact. You know what I mean? My financial, physical, just like emotional, just everything. You know, because me, like, I'm the type of fighter, like, when I go into that fight, like, I want to be 110% locked in. You know, I want to be tunnel vision focused, make sure everything is in order, you know, as far as, like, my investments. I don't want to be stressing about nothing. I don't want nothing to go, like, you know, it's fight week. I'm arguing with somebody or any of that. Like, I want to, like, everything to just be, like, I'm locked in. I ain't worried about nothing but this fight. And that's just, every time y'all see me, y'all can trust and believe I'm 100%, 110% locked in and, and ready to go. So that year off was a choice that you made. It wasn't that it was hard fighting fights or injuries nah, or anything like that. No. Nah. Thank you. Chaos. Um, so you know, obviously, you you started your career fighting three times a year. Then then you did two, and then you've only fought once um, in the past two years. Are you, are you hoping to get back to fighting maybe twice or three times a year? Or absolutely, or? man. Everything is intact now. You know, I hey, I don't know. Uh, had them bonuses, you know, and that put me ahead a little bit, made a couple investments, and then played with a little bit, and now it's time to get back to business. Has it been frustrating, you know, knowing that, like, you you have these highlight knockouts that everybody knows? Everybody knows of your knockout of, of, of Hassan and Moreno. Mm -hmm. um, 
but then you're not fighting for a whole year and people just forget about it, right? Like, is that frustrating at all to you? Man, not really, man, because, you know, it's just like any sport, man. You got the uh, fickle people in any sport. So the people that's rocking with me, they rocking with me. You know, and then when I do get, when I do fight, man, it's like they ain't seen me fight in a minute. So I got the hood. I got everybody watching. That's my fans. Like, like it's like I'm bringing everybody together. It's like a celebration, you know. So, um, man, but I'm going to definitely put put out more, man. This, this uh, 2024, man, starting with this fight this Saturday, man. It's trying to give everybody what they've been waiting on, man. But uh, sorry for the wait, everybody. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, and then finally, um, before the career's all done, um, are, are we going to see you fight an ox or fight a bull or something? Hey, man, you never know, man. You never know. <laughs> the money, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right.